What's up everyone? It's Big Banks. We're back again for another video. Today we are exploring a beautiful abandoned Queen and Victorian mansion that was built in 1901. This place has gone through several owners, several different name changes. The last owners that lived here actually left everything behind whenever they passed away around 2014. The original owner, he lived here from 1901 to about 1924 when he moved away to another state and is sold to a different family who lived here for until about the 1940s i believe now the house just sits completely abandoned with everything left inside it is absolutely insane it's so beautiful victorian houses are probably my favorite to see down in the south it's raining today so it actually gives us a very eerie feel there's no paint on it so it just looks like a haunted house honestly today i'm joined with explomo and sandy who is going to uh, tell me a lot about the place, a lot about the uh, things that are inside, just so I can get a better understanding of what's in there and what is left. Without further ado, we're going to go inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you inside. right here at the front door when you first walk in you get this amazing grand foyer here with this incredible woodwork you got to think an immigrant from germany came over here to build this house and this is just amazing when you first walk in it's just like you're blown away with this beautiful woodwork nice chandelier high ceilings and this beautiful furniture carpets old photos of the family and who used to live here as well as the pocket doors there's pocket doors everywhere downstairs which we're going to go into these other rooms here in just a second but first we're going to keep looking at this grand foyer here which is just absolutely amazing we have a dresser right here with some pennies still left inside some amazing decor like this clock right here these rugs throughout the house just blow my mind, as well as everything else. Not only that, we have this piano here, and it's amazing, still in great shape. Still has music up right here. Tell me the old story, We Three Kings, Orient are. So this is a hymnal that they have up here. And this right here is the couple that lived in this home. So many amazing items left here. I'm just blown away. And with all the angels, they were definitely more religious people, but we are in the South where religion is a really big thing. We also have a metronome here. We have a little nook right here where I'm not sure what you would even do here. Maybe just sit and relax. Maybe have just the decorations. I'm not sure. But this staircase is by far one of the best I've seen in the South. It's still fully intact. Nothing's been broken off. Still holding up really well. And I love it. The dark stained wood. Still have some Christmas items out, like I said before. And that's kind of everywhere in here. So we're gonna open this, and I guarantee you there's probably Christmas stuff in it. Yeah, look, there's a Christmas tree. A lot of other things, kind of just storage area. That's pretty cool. And right here on the mantle, we have this beautiful clock right here. It might even open up. No, it doesn't. But, these would all hold candles. This would be lit up. And this fireplace is amazing. Look at that. A lot of ash kind of just has fallen out. Really dirty this. You can't really see how pretty this tile actually is. I wonder if there's anything. Some stuff left in here. Candles and whatnot, silverware. But then we come through these beautiful pocket doors right here and they still slide really well into the formal living room. This is the living room where you don't really sit and you know enjoy your time or whatever. You don't really sit and watch TV or hang out. This is just to look fancy for guests and things of that sort. Beautiful couches here. This couch has some sort of hide material that makes it worth a lot of money. So this is actually a pretty expensive this chair right here. 
all along here we have the two stands. We have even a picture of him when he was in the Air Force. What do we have here? This is definitely a flash for a camera. And this is like film. So maybe. Oh wow. That is a old Polaroid camera. I've never seen one like this before. That is incredible. This fireplace is immaculate. Look at how shiny it still is. This is just one magnificent property. Hey guys, that is literally just two rooms. And there's still more in here that I wanna show you in this formal living room. And as you can see, it just goes on and on. This is a behemoth of a Queen Victorian mansion. And it just keeps getting better and better. <sighs> Upstairs, I imagine, is gonna be absolutely insane. More pocket doors, like they're everywhere. The furniture in here is so beautiful and I cannot believe it's just sitting here. I don't think that anybody's gonna save it. You can hope for the best, but I don't know. Here's like an old house. This looks like a band though, honestly. You got the watch here. It definitely does not work anymore. Look at this chest right here. This looks like paintings you'd see in Italy, honestly. Just full of old papers, mail, beautiful chest though. I mean, we just have some amazing things left in this house. Like this box right here, definitely well crafted. Now something Sandy said about this piece right here is that this is actually a printout of a painting and it is pretty, I mean, it looks pretty vintage. I love the frame that it's in too, but there is the formal living room right there. And look at the ceiling. Alright, so now we're going to enter into this family room, which is where they would have hung out, they would have had guests over, they would have been playing board games together, hanging out. This is their hangout room. And it's also a little breakfast room right here. So, there's a lot to see in this room, and this is, this is where it gets kind of sad and where I hope something happens with this place to where they fix it, because if this doesn't get fixed, I think that this place is going to just rot altogether. So right here we have this table, which is where they probably would have eaten breakfast more than likely, or they would have just had their, their dinners here. It's a small table though. I don't see a complete formal dining room or anything like that. So this is what they have set up. So this is kind of like a mix of the two with the living area as well as this. And we have this old silver silverware. This is amazing stuff. And the glasses, these have cherries on them. So much detail. And these is like, this is like one of those old glass bottles. Normally people would fill these up with alcohol or some something like maybe wine. Have a more fancy bottle. But this is a beautiful table with these amazing chairs right here. But if you see right here, here's where we have these two couches. And right here, this door is completely fallen in and there is a hole right there straight down. You do not want to fall there, but it's letting all the elements into this place, making me kind of worried that this place will just rot. These couches are definitely, they look like they're comfortable, I'll tell you that. So they're probably a little expensive, floral, love to see floral. They might have been more white at one point, and then maybe they yellowed out after being, you know, abandoned for so long. Included in this room, we have a desk with the old computer still sitting here. It is definitely Got a lot of dust on it. There's even an old Verizon LG flip phone. I probably have one just like this before. But they would have done some sort of work here. Maybe homework, maybe the kids played on it. Did things like that. I know when we had a computer back in my house, I usually just played Minesweeper and things like that. And one of the coolest things is there's actually a painting right here of the house itself. You can see how grand it is. This room right here is just absolutely amazing. This is so beautiful. 
but we're gonna make our way back to the kitchen. And right to my left here, I believe this is a butler's pantry. Kind of just stacked up with stuff. It's really cluttered. Bags everywhere. Black mold. To my right here, we have a bathroom that's been really cluttered with stuff. So guys, it just started pouring down rain, but we're still in this bathroom. And it's actually a closet, so it's kind of weird. The vanity and stuff is right here, but the bathroom goes in there. And it's just cluttered with stuff. But this is the closet, and you can tell all the clothes are still here. You know, there's crutches, there's jewelry, cat litter box. I mean, there's even another cat litter box right there. It's the same ones that I use with my cat. And right through here we have the bathroom, which has a really nice tub right here. But there is feces all over the floor, and it is just kind of nasty. And you can hear the rain coming in, coming straight into the house. See, this is what I mean. It's left to the elements. And these elements are going to make this place fall apart. Look at that. Water is literally coming into the house right now. But we make our way back here to the kitchen. And we have a table right here, so maybe they ate dinner in here. Just cook it, bring it straight to the table. All the family photos, 2013 on there, sports stuff, everything. I mean, this is just a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. There's a lot of these cool glasses. A lot of china left behind. Stove, oven. More china, more glasses. Blenders, you know, your basic kitchen items. And I'm stepping on this drop ceiling, which looks like they tried to modernize it a little bit, but just fell. Ended up failing. We even have books in the kitchen here. Really sucks that it started raining. Guys, like, I don't know when I'll be back in the state. I don't know what's gonna happen. And I really wanted to get photos and drone shots of the outside because this place is insane. It's so beautiful. I mean, a Queen Anne Victorian mansion. How better can you get, you know? Should we open the fridge though? Should we open the fridge? I think we should open the fridge. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Let's close that. That stinks. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> we are going to enter this bedroom and I believe this is the master bedroom. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Complete time capsule, bed is still made, curtains are still up, fake plants guys, fake plants, they're not real, nobody's watering these. The vanity here, and look at this, sheriff department, this guy also was a sheriff, he was a deputy. We have all this stuff still here, photos again, we have this very nice dresser here, and this must have been him. Wow, this is like a Moroccan, I think, tea table or something like that. That is so cool. You have this. It was hot earlier, but now it's not, so we're all good. But the bed reminds me a lot of that one house that we saw in Alabama with the bed frame. And even right here, we have these nice chairs, nice little rocking chair. We even have a chest here. Let's see what's inside. This is actually a drawing of the house. That is so cool, oh my gosh. Old rotary phone here. This is one thing I remember growing up. This is called Fool's Gold. Iron Pirate, I believe. Beautiful stone there. Of course, the closet is jam-packed with clothes. Shoes are all in there, purses. Stuff even still has a tag on it, as you can see. And right here at the mantle. More family photos. Looks like they covered up the fireplace and put a heater in here. Big comfy looking chair. Let's see what's right here. Oh my gosh, those family photos. Wow. This is this house too. Memories just sitting in this box. There's just hundreds of them. Beautiful bedroom though.
right guys, so we just explored the bottom half. Now we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna see what's left up there. You're not gonna wanna miss any of this. This house is a diamond out of a dozen. Like you never see stuff like this, hardly uh, anywhere in America. This is one of the few gyms out there, but that's what we do. But we're gonna head upstairs and we're gonna see what is left behind up there. You can see all the dust, all the dirt, all the debris on the staircase. It's been sitting here for so long. Get a good look down into the foyer. So coming up right here, this is the turret part of the Victorian house. So this is that little area. This place is absolutely incredible on the outside. I'm sure you guys saw in the beginning, the outside looks absolutely amazing. So old, built in 1901, you know. All right, so right here, we have this little living area upstairs, probably where somebody would do studies, play with their horses, obviously, sit, read a book by the fireplace, listen to some music, obviously. Here is some record player right here. And right next to it, we have a large chest. This guy was a pilot for the Air Force. So he has his love for airplanes. Here's even another one sitting right here. My goodness, look at this bedroom. This is the first bedroom we're seeing on the top floor and it is a complete time capsule in here. Look at the bed, still made. The hats here, the baby carriage. It looks like there's a carpet, a matching carpet on both sides of this bed. So I'm pretty positive that this was a girl's room who loved the color baby blue. Right here, even next to me, is a little baby blue dress. And even the walls are painted like this baby blue color. The bed is obviously baby blue. Right here, we have her vanity where she would have gotten ready every day, maybe put on makeup, do her hair. Look at this. This is such a heavy brush because it's so vintage. And the mirror to match it as well. But look at all this. It looks like maybe even some portraits of her. Her right there, and that's her right there again. This is just one incredible bedroom. We have the teddy bears still sitting in this chair. We have little knickknacks here and there. Little nightstand with little antique figurines there. You open this to store your stuff. This is just one of the most amazing houses we've seen in the south. Right here we have a quilt rack. I used to have these in my house with my grandparents. Hangs up your quilts there. And they have some pretty cool ones here. Hand stitched, everything. And this windowsill, we have more jewelry stuff, more photos. So the door handles here are such detailed. Like there's this one and every single one of them are a little bit different, but they're all just pretty beautiful to me. Of course, the closet is still full of everything. All the clothes are in here. Crazy to see that somebody can leave all their clothes behind. Me, I don't have a lot of clothes myself, so I have to be grateful for, for that. Meanwhile, there's houses everywhere with clothing just left behind. I don't know what game this is, but if, you, if anybody knows, let me know down in the comments, but there's little pockets right here, so maybe it was something, I mean, I'm not gonna say similar to pool, but like, maybe? Just let me know if you guys know. But that looks like a cool little game. It's pretty pretty big, to say the least. We have a painting here, and this is beautiful. I love art. Like you guys know, I love art. It's beautiful glass. There is the staircase that goes up to the attic. That is beautiful. I feel like I've seen stuff like this before, but I, now that I think of it, I don't know. 
I, I like it though. The woodwork, I love how in these old houses they put way more work in it than they do in the houses today. Like I would much rather own a house like this than a modern house. Before we take you down this hallway, there is this little table right here with a nice pretty lamp here. What looks to be maybe a quail, taxidermied quail, and some books here. And this is one of these tables that you can actually fold it up and make it a little bit larger on both sides. So it can be one of these tables that just sits in the corner or it can be a table that sits in the middle of a room like this. But even right over there we have that spindle work. Absolutely amazing. So we just walk right through here. And in the hallway there are these shelves with books on them. The Armada. Reader's Digest, condensed books. So they definitely enjoyed reading. Which I mean, you think about back in the day, people didn't have internet or cell phones. So reading was basically your form of social media. Here's even more books. Oh, look at this, here's bullets. These look like little 22 bullets. I think this is maybe one of those novelty coins. A lot more books here, still stacked up. Some of them are really deteriorating, but for the most part, a lot of them are still fully intact. Storage closet, a lot of Christmas stuff in here. One common thing I've always noticed with abandoned places is how much Christmas stuff they leave behind. They don't want to take any of their festive stuff with them, which is really weird. That's just me. I love Christmas, the seasons, you know? I keep my Christmas tree up past Valentine's Day. That's just me, but you know. Look at this room. Perfectly time capsule. There's gun holsters right here. There's the high ceilings, which kind of reminds you of something you'd see in Portugal with this wood finish. Another mantle here. And there's a mantle in every room. This is one of the houses where AC units and stuff are gonna be in here for, for air conditioning. Back in the day though, for heaters, they would have had to have this to heat up the whole house. Another quilt rack with a hand woven quilt on it. Very, very beautiful. The amazing chairs. But this bed still being made right here. It's just incredible to see. And I love how these windows are, how they have this like lip here. Maybe you can put something in front of them. So these are sort of like a recessed window, almost in every room. I mean, they took a lot of thought into building this house and pretty much every house in this neighborhood. We have an old GQ magazine. Spring Fashion Preview, 1997. Here's more of these vintage like hairbrushes. This one's more like a brass with a mirror too and everything. The drawers are full of everything too. Kind of a mess looks like, but they are full. I'm loving these carpets in like every single room as well. But that closet is definitely packed to the brim. Not only that, look at these little hats. Little blue one. And this little white one. Very good condition as well. But they're just sitting here. Looks like this is a lot, it's still kind of like Christmas decorations. So maybe it was around the holidays when they left. The last resident that lived here, he actually passed away at the age of 85. And it was January 6th. So that means this place probably still had a lot of Christmas decor up whenever it was abandoned. And I think family has kind of come and gone and like done similar, like done things here and there to it. And, but for the most part, it's been kind of left. Crazy to see all this stuff here. We have another bookshelf. These old bottles. It's a baseball one, signed by anybody. It's like it might have been signed by somebody at one point. Definitely not signed by anybody. Oh my gosh, look at this. Battleship, this is probably like a vintage battleship. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow, look at this, it's all these letters. Oh my gosh. These are letters from when he was uh, at his at his fort in Brooklyn, New York. He was he was based there in the uh, in the Air Force and he wrote all these letters. These are all the letters he wrote to his wife. I and mean, there's just stacks of them. That's like literally a love story right there. And this is just all letters, love letters, 
They probably didn't see each other for a very long time. You see the movies, that is literally like what you see in movies. Like Dear John, like things like that. This is, it's sad at the same time that all this is just left here and being forgotten about. This, this whole house should be a museum itself. In this house specifically, um, above almost every door and inside, like to the bedrooms and things, are these transom windows above doors. This is amazing. I mean, the doors itself are already pretty tall. And then you have that, just to add that little extra flair. Right back here, if you go straight out, it goes onto a balcony. Just this overgrown, falling apart, spider webs everywhere. Look, I mean, look at this. So right here to my left, we have another room, which this room could have been a bedroom at some point, but I don't see a bed in here. And I feel like there would be a bed in here if it was, but there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Look at the carpets, there is a freaking turkey right here. And that is definitely a real turkey. That is creepy. Whoa. Look at this stuff. Just in this little shelf area right here. All these dolls and these angels. We have this little dresser right here with a TV, old box TV on it, stuff piled up in the drawers. I don't see this room having much longer because I can literally see it. It's like curving like this, so it feels like it's kind of going under. But the roof, I mean, you can see it's cracking. So there's some black mold. Maybe one day somebody will come and rescue this property because it desperately needs it. But for now, it just sits like this. The Littlest Angel. And see, here's another one of these amazing doors. I think it's kind of too rusted to turn it right now, but you could open those up. And here's one of these door handles like I was talking about. Just check that out. Those should be saved. Another closet looks like it's full of everything still. Look at these clothes. Like, look at this shirt right here, this dress. From JCPenney, it was $19.99. Sparkly. Looks like maybe a cedar closet. Didn't they have closets like this to keep uh, moths out, I think? All the closets in these old homes would have this to be, to keep the moss out, and I still think it's pretty cool. I see it a lot. Look at all these little fancy hats. I don't see these type of hats a lot in places, so it's cool to see them here. We have a watch. Rolex? No. So we have this giant chest, and there's even more hats in here. And this looks like from their Letterman jacket. Tennis racket. This is like a diploma. The amount of stuff in here is blowing my mind. From this bedroom, we have a little bit of a hallway here. And right here, we have our bathroom. Not a bad looking little bathroom. Pretty tall ceilings, kind of like the rest of the house. This recessed window right here. You even have a little dresser vanity. The heater, your chemicals, your cleaning supplies, another quilt rack right there, but they probably put towels on that. But there's no shower or bathtub in here. So I'm wondering where that is. But the sink in the corner with the marble is beautiful. This is actually a full marble sink. Right here we have a, a closet. And it looks like there's a little secret door there. But it is just too cluttered to get to it. Well, we've even got stuff up there. Stetson, I know that brand. My grandpa actually used to wear Stetson uh, cologne. It smells pretty good. This must have been just like a storage room. Some sorts. A lot of just old furniture pack packed in here. Stuff just stored away. Not too much about this room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all these bullets. Gunstock finish. 
Is there a gun in here or something? I highly doubt there's a gun, but there's tons of bullets. Look at that. They're just everywhere in here. Maybe he even made them or something. You guys let me know if you think he made bullets, because that's what I'm getting the feeling of, that he actually put them together himself. This is maybe his little workshop. There's even shotgun shells over there that are open. So why would you be firing it inside? Just to see a house like this abandoned in the south, it blows my mind. Been kind of down here, doing some things, meeting up with some people. About to head to my grandma's house and kind of spend time with her after everything that's happened. Sorry, there's a train going by. guys well we're gonna call that quits for today hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful Queen Anne Victorian mansion with everything left behind a complete time capsule you guys know the time capsules are the best but also the saddest I want to just thank you guys for joining along big thank you to Sandy and Explomo for coming here again if you guys enjoyed smash that like button hit the subscribe button and we are going to Head out and I'm gonna head to Oklahoma. Road trip continues and that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Big thanks out.